Here we will learn true facts about the anglerfish. The female anglerfish comes in many shapes, colors, and shades of ugly. It's like a rainbow of ugly. The male anglerfish is tiny by comparison, like a tiny little baby. He attaches himself to the female by biting her and then digesting part of his face so he fuses with her flesh. He then atrophies, losing his digestive organs, brain, heart, and eyes, and winds up nothing more than a pair of gonads, which release sperm when needed. Hey there, pretty lady. Nice gonads. To the female anglerfish, the human male is a very loud, annoying, and unnecessarily complicated pair of gonads. The anglerfish is a master of disguise, hiding itself among the sand and rocks of the ocean floor. Here, an anglerfish compares its camouflaging skills with that of a flounder, also a master. Holy crap! Did you? What the fuck? To hunt, the anglerfish waves things in front of its mouth that its prey is attracted to. Here, the anglerfish waves a lovely pashmina shawl, just the size for an unsuspecting shrimp. Here, another one presents a lovely pair of leggings, and here a decorative hat feather. Sadly, the shrimps and their vanity pay the ultimate price. Death. The deep sea anglerfish collects glowy, glowy bacteria in its wavy thing to create a tiny little light, because it's dark as hell down there, and someone needs to light up that pretty, pretty lady.